our sins and griefs to bear. It was a so pretty week, wasn't it? Amen. If you look out this window, over there to the side, there's a big tree. Wednesday, when I was here, it was full green. Now you look at it now. God sure has been busy, hasn't he? I can't believe how he could paint all those leaves. Okay, turn to page 22. Please stand. We'll sing this one twice. <coughs> Good morning, Ms. 
Lots of readings, 71. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget my all his Bless the Lord, O my soul, who forgive all thy iniquities, who heal with all thy diseases, who redeem thy life from destruction, who crown thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. Bless the Lord, O my soul, who satisfied with thy mouth the good things, so that thy youth is renewed by the eagles. The Lord is merciful and gracious. Slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He has he not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Let us the Lord with our soul, for as the heavens rise higher up here, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. Let us the Lord bless our soul, for as far as the east is from the west. So far have these removed our transgressions from us. The light as a father of the pity as his children, so the Lord pity of them that fear him. For he knoweth our name, he remembereth that he made our dust. As for man, <coughs> his days are as grass, as the flower of the field, so he flourished, for the wind passes over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth all over all. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Bless the Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Sheila. Tim, are there any announcements we need to remember? Well, this kind of ties in with the prayer request. Some people have asked me what the story was with Alan Loft's father. He passed away. He passed away a little over a week ago. Um, they finally decided they're going to do a, a service this Thursday at Greco Hurtney. The service will be at 1 o'clock. The family's going to get there at noon. And I asked, well, was it a private funeral and the funeral director said no it's not private they're just requiring face masks and social distancing so continue to pray for Alan's family again that's this coming Thursday is when the funeral is going to be and it will be at one o'clock I will be conducting the funeral so that's really it's not really an announcement but uh, for the people's benefit okay thank you mm -hmm. offertory hymn will be 497 please stand <laughs>
much. Servant of God. In his great wisdom, he has chosen you to be our guide in faith. Thank you for your love and care. Love, Calvary. Whatsoever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men. Thank you very much. And I see that there is a gift card here. Long John Silvers. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. I'll, uh, I'll enjoy that as well as Long John Silvers Goldfish. <laughs> Thank you very much. Read the front. You are officially the best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I um, Thank you. I know that this is Pastor Appreciation Month, and I appreciate you. appreciate all that you do for me throughout the year. I appreciate um, your... Putting up with me. And um, I just pray the Lord continue to bless. Um, I'm thankful that the Lord brought us together. And um, just pray that the Lord will continue to use us. I wish that we were reaching more people as I'm sure most churches do. But um, we'll continue to keep on until the Lord calls us home. So thank you very much. Um, let me very quickly go through the prayer list and um, just comment on a few names as I've already told you the law family keep them in prayer Chuck is he's making he told us at Sunday school he felt like running a race but uh, he's not quite there yet my mom uh, continues to, to do well uh, we take her back to Pittsburgh this week so appreciate prayers Hank is really struggling today with the sciatic nerve He's also waiting to hear from a doctor about maybe getting this bladder surgery that he's in desperate need of. It's good to have you all here. Alicia, did you want to say something? <coughs> did you want to say anything, Alicia, about Hank? No, I just said that they canceled his surgery. We've been praying. I told the church that. He had waited for months to get this waited surgery. Two years. Two years. But you've had how many surgeries? Three on your bladder so far? Two, and this is supposed to have been the third one. And, and the insurance didn't approve it? No, it wasn't the insurance. The hospital wouldn't approve it because it's, it's a special type surgery. And they said they, it was too risky for them to authorize it. So I, that's been over a week. And I, I called, I asked them, my nurse to have my doctor call me to see if I could have it done someplace else or whatever. It's been over a week, and he hasn't contacted me. So what I'm doing now is I'm contacting another doctor to see Dr. What's his name? Provenzano. Provenzano. Provenzano over at, at UPNC. I told him, see what you can do to find somebody that will do the surgery because... It's so new, and the guy that they were flying in from California was not approved to do it at Washington Hospital. Okay. So it's, it's been a really bad, because I tell you, it's something that's it, it's really been the worst thing I've ever went through. The things that we take for granted. Yep, amen. And um, amen. So do keep in prayer. Mary Conaway, right under Hank's name. Mary is still up at Weirton Medical Center. She's hoping maybe the first part of this week to be able to go home, but that's... I did not hear that from the doctor. That's what she's saying. She's in room 642. The visitation policy is there. They allow one visitor per day, and it's for like a half hour. So do keep Mary Conaway in prayer. We do need to pray for our country. That's halfway down the first column, especially this upcoming election. At the bottom of this first column, Charlie Quarter. Charlie, you're about a week away from your surgery? Yep, the 20th. 20th. Uh, knee replacement surgery, so we're praying that that goes well for him. Has Deb any Deb getting any closer to hers? Is she over in pneumonia, bronchitis? No. Yeah, but it's going to be a while. She's doing as good as she can do. Okay. <coughs> well, 
They both need our prayers. Deb needs to get a knee replacement as well. In the middle column, Tim said there's no real change in Delphi. And uh, Tim, the good news with him is that he does not have any cancer. The PET scan showed no cancer. We rejoice. Uh, we just pray that the Lord will bring Delphi out of this coma. Bucky went that the Lord will help to strengthen him so that he can walk better. Michael Darty has got his surgery coming up this week. Friday. Friday. Surgery on your wrist, so we pray that that goes well. Aaron Jim, the pastor out in New Mexico, they were able to have a service, I guess, Wednesday night. Second time since March that they've been able to do a service, and it was just kind of an outdoor in the parking lot thing. They're still under heavy restrictions out in New Mexico. Keep them in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, Tony Sue told me his middle column down near the bottom, Mary Beth Robinson, her sister, did not get transferred back here to Weirton. She's still up in Pittsburgh at her request, wants to continue getting her therapy and stuff up there. So we pray that things will go well there. In the last column, um, Bob Taylor, he's recovering nicely from his shoulder surgery. <coughs> Becky Deach has had some health issues, and we pray that she's going to be okay. Barb Riggle, Clyde's sister, continues to get treatments, lost a lot of weight. This chemotherapy has really taken the starch out of her, needs our continued prayers. Vivian Ferguson is doing well, as well as Matt Russell. Matt, Matthew Russell was in the car accident about a week and a half ago, hit by a drunk driver, <laughs> and he is back home. Matt Russell is, so we're thankful for that. Are there any other announcements or names that need to be added? Yes, Mary Collins. Uh, Logan Collins. Mm -hmm. uh, was uh, on his motorbike, and he wrapped into a tree. He broke his collarbone. Well, he had surgery the other day, and it was broken three places. But he's he come through the surgery fine, so he's on his way to getting better. <laughs> yes, at the time you told us it had been a bad week for that family. Oh, Logan yeah. had had that accident, and then um, uh, um, Tiffany, she had um, her ankle for, broke. She was out walking the dog and broke it. Twisted her foot and broke her ankle, and then, Randy, and then your son. Yeah, and then Randy he hurt his arm, but he's doing okay now. Okay. And then this week they all had cold, so I haven't seen any of them. Okay. Well, yes, Diane. The name's already on there. I just ask that people continue praying for more Crow family. They're struggling. To the Crow family. Yes. Okay. That's tough. Really tough. Is he a co worker with you? Yeah, good friend. Any others? Let's pray together. Father, at this prayer time, we just pause to say thank you for your goodness to us. Thank you for seeing us through another week. Thank you for this opportunity to come together and worship. I think about my brother down there in New Mexico that. They've only been able to do two services since March. How absolutely demoralizing that must be. And so we, we just want to say thank you that we're able to worship. I also think about down in Louisiana, the, the hurricane that hit this past week, Hurricane Delta. It only hit 13 or 14 miles away from the other one that hit about a month ago. And so those people down there are desperately trying to rebuild. We take that for granted. We, As Chuck pointed out, we had such a beautiful week of weather this week. Father, we've been blessed abundantly and we say thank you. Especially, Father, as we go through the list of names. Lord, there's so many people that are hurting and we are grateful for our health that allows us to come together. We thank you for taking care of us and thank you for taking care of our loved ones and we ask, Father, that you'll continue to bless and meet needs. Lord, I don't want to go through all of these individual needs, but I'm going to look to you, Father, and ask that you'll meet them. For those that are grieving, that you will comfort their hearts, the Crow family as well as the Loth family, and there are others, the Quarters, and of course I see Janet Riggs back here. And Father, I know that on the back row is Darlene Kim. And as I go through the congregation, Michael Darty, having lost a brother. There are many families, Father, that are grieving. 
And we ask you, Lord, to comfort their hearts, to give them encouragement, and let them know that you're still with them and that we can look up because the end, the end is not yet. There is a, something to look forward to on the other side. We thank you for that. We pray for the needs that are here. I do continue to pray for Delpha Miller. That Lord, you'd please bring her out of the coma. Thank you for the good news with Tim. We rejoice that there's no cancer there. We just pray that you might deliver his wife, Delpha, from this prison of being in a coma. That you might restore her father. Please meet her needs and the needs of the family. We pray for Hank, who's been through a couple of surgeries already to correct the problem with his bladder. and It's not been able to be corrected, and now he's running into a snag with trying to get a hospital that will allow the surgery to take place. And we pray that something can be done to help him out with that. We pray for Michael Darty this week as he has this wrist surgery that it would be successful and that he could regain use of his wrist and hand again. We pray for Charlie as he gets this knee replacement that it might end up going well, that he would heal quickly and soon be able to get back to doing things that he enjoys. We pray for his daughter, Deb, that Father, you would please help her to be able to get her knee replacement soon. Know that she suffers a lot with arthritis and pray that you might ease the pain and whatnot that she's in, that Father, you might touch and heal her. There's just a lot of needs here. I do join with praying for Mary Collins, thankful that her grandson was able to get his collarbone <coughs> repaired. We just pray that you might help him to heal up. We pray for Mary Conaway, who's in the hospital, and <coughs> thankful that the treatments have gone well. We just pray that she could get well soon so that she could get back home. As I said, Father, I'm not going to take time to go through all of these prayers individually, but just say, Lord, we need your help. I even ask your continued blessing upon my mom and thank you for what you've done. But our lives are in your hands and we ask for your mercy. Please continue to meet our needs. Meet not only the, the, the spoken needs, but also the unspoken needs. That everything might be according to your will, Father. And that you might have mercy and grant us your grace. Be with our country, Father. Help our country to turn back to you. Deliver us and the rest of the world from the coronavirus. We thank you that our president is doing so much better. And we pray, Father, that you might prevent other people from coming down with the coronavirus. We pray that our country might turn back to you, Father. We desperately need to return to what your word teaches. And we pray, Father, that you might help the church, your people, to understand it has to start with us. We need to return to you with all of our hearts. Please forgive us for allowing other things to become more important. We pray for our military and law enforcement that you will keep them and their families safe. And Father, we pray for revival. We pray, Father, that not only churches might be revived, but that we might be faithful in telling the lost world that they need to get saved before it's too late. Thank you for being our God. Thank you for this time. Thank you for hearing our prayers. We just ask, Lord, that you will continue to meet all the needs that we have and that you might be honored with our living. Forgive us when we fail you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.